Today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the variety of meals that you can actually offer in animals. And one of those variety items is fish. So let's take a look at fish, for example, right? Now, not every animal that you have will actually readily accept a fish. Because, uh, well, not all animals are aquatic and a lot of animals don't actually really know what a fish is. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock! So today we're going to be trying taking a look at what of our collection will actually be eating fish. So on the table, we have two of our four anacondas ready to see if they're going to take a meal. So all I did was I defo the fish, made sure they're appropriate body temperature, and now I'm going to try feeding an extremely aquatic species some fish. All right, so here's the first one's fish. Man, I must say the fish really, really stinks. Now this does look like it, uh, that's a bit of a big one. Now these do look like they'd be big meals for the size of these anacondas, but you guys need to remember that a fish's density is nothing near as close to what a rodent's would be. So it is, even though it's a larger meal, it still is an extremely lighter meal. Now let's see how they would react towards the smell of the fish. And I actually think we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna have a go here. Now this individual is in shed, so I've never tried feeding it before while it's in shed, so let's see. <laughs> uh, does not seem too keen. Weirded out more likely than anything else. Now don't worry guys, if the animals do not eat the fish, the fish will not be wasted. I still have my spectacled caiman and he'll eat all this fish. Hmm. Alright. It's a bust for the first anaconda, which really sucks. I was quite optimistic to believe that they all already recognize this fish and they'll all just go crazy, especially since the anacondas <laughs> have such an extreme food drive. I really thought that they would simply just go for it. Well, let's check this individual that's not in shit. Well, he looks pretty keen. <laughs> Definitely not the feeding response I was expecting from them. Hmm. They all seem weirded out by this. <coughs> Whoa! We're just gonna get him to grab the prey item. I might be able to entice him. Sometimes a little bit of tease feeding can go a long way. We'll see. We might be barking up the wrong tree with these guys. Ooh. Really? That's a bite. Ooh. It's also a bite. Let's see if we can tease them a bit and get them to actually bite and hold on to this. Ooh. Wow! Yo! Wow! Hmm. Well, that sucks. I don't seem keen at all. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's a total bust with these two. So, um, I think let's check out if the two bigger anacondas would be keen on this. Now, since this guy's in the water, how freaking cool would it be if an aquatic snake takes a fish in the water? I mean, that would just be so sick. So, let's check if he, she actually is keen on it. I don't really know if she would be. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That is what I am talking about. She took the fish. Ridiculous. That's what I'm talking about. You did what I'm talking about. So let's just jump and feed the very next one. Now this individual here is a monster feeder. Ooh. Oh, you missed it. Ooh. There we go. Yeah, I had no doubt in this one actually. Oh, that's disgusting. Come on, man. Ugh. <laughs> that's... Shut up. Yeah, that's... Ooh, oh, that's disgusting. Now... <coughs> that was freaking gross. It reminded me of like when you... <coughs> overthrow a rat, you know, that kind of the same effect. <laughs>
All right, so let's see if the monocled cobra will eat one, won't we? All right, so here she is. She's already aware that there's something going on. Hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. Let's see, let's see, let's see if you'd like a fishy. Uh, it would be very interesting if she eats one, but cobras in general, they have an extremely big food drive. So let's have a look and see if she'd be keen on it. And she smells it. She doesn't know what the hell it is. And she's coming out. Let's give her another one, I guess, before she comes out and makes a muck. Oh no, there she's got it. Yeah, man, that's it. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. How ridiculously cool is that? I think we'll actually do a little bit of a time lapse for you guys, so you guys can observe this extremely strange process. Check out, she's working her way around to where the head is of that little fish, and then, that, well, there it go. There it goes. Down the gullet. Nom 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 nom. Oh, uh, how freaking ridiculously interesting is that? Let's give her another. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Swallow first before you try another one. Hmm, let's see. Give her a little chance to swallow first, I think. Alright, let's see again. You want this one? You missed it. Are you done? Are you done? Alright! Oh no, I dropped it. I dropped it. That sucks, I dropped it! Oh no! Up, boy! Up! No, oh, I dropped it. Okay. Yeah, so unfortunately, there'll be no cool jump with him eating it because, well, I did drop it. Which sucks. But, uh, he should pick it up now, she? Just look at this little beautiful animal. He's got a little fishy swimming in there with him all over the show. Mm, no, with the beautiful animal, this one. Alright, so we're back from Tingle Balls. That was actually very disappointing. I'm sorry about that, guys. I dropped the freaking fish. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Yeah, that's on me. All right, so let's take a look at the breakdown and the meal value for fish, actually. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a graft here and a little bit of a table for you guys and then switch over to a voiceover so you can see the nutritional value of a fish in correspondence with what uh, the nutritional value for a rodent would have been. And then just to show you guys that variety is actually so important and that it does actually help your animals on a fundamental level. So without further ado. So right off the bat, let's start with sardines. Here is a little breakdown for you guys on a per 100 gram scale of what nutrients actually are in a sardine. So in principle, let's take a closer look at it. I want you guys to specifically remember the grams of protein and the grams of fat in a sardine because we're going to later compare that to rats and mice. But yeah, here's a breakdown of what vitamins and stuff you can actually find in sardines and why it's such a nice and healthy alternative. And then also we'll take a look at the minerals found in it. So calcium content is really good. Magnesium is fine. Potassium is fine. And the iron content of it is fine as well. Here is a nice comparison of mice to rats made available to us by A&M ball pythons. So a big shout out and a big thanks to them for this list. First of all, let's take a look at the crude protein content of mice. So the list goes from neonate, juvenile to an adult mouse. And we can see that, that a neonate mice pretty high in protein, um, a juvenile mouse not so high in protein, and then an adult mouse, an outstanding high amount of protein available. 
All right, and if we take a look at Rats again, Juvenile being at the top, well, New Knight being at the top, Juvenile second and Adult last, we can see that the crude protein is also extremely high, and that's a really good thing, right? You want your snakes to obviously get a nice and bulky protein meal, but at what cost exactly does this high protein content for rats and mice come for? So let's take a look at what the cost is of such a high protein content. So if you look at the crude fat here from mice, you'll see that basically it's on a two to one scale. So for every two portions of protein, they'll get one portion of fat. In that whatever portion of protein they get, half of that in percentage they'll basically get in fat as well. So yeah, the crude protein is nice and high, but the amount of fat that they get from that meal is also an extremely high. So you need to take that into consideration in varying an animal's diet. So here's that list for you guys one more time. All right, guys, and there you have it. Variety is king. It changes everything. From Heart Exotics, you guys know I love you. You guys know I appreciate you. Peace out.